Good evening. It's Saturday, the 16th of August. You're tuned in to our 10 p.m. newscast coming to you from Arirang's News Centre in Seoul. It's great to have you with us. I'm Mark Broom. Our top story this evening. Close to one million people filled the streets of central Seoul on Saturday morning to watch Pope Francis beatify dozens of Korean martyrs who were killed for their faith over two centuries ago. Cheers rang through the air when Francis declared the 124 pioneers of the Korean Catholic Church blessed and one step closer to sainthood. Our Ji Myung Gil starts us off. The beatification of Paul Yoon Ji Chung and 123 fellow martyrs was held at Kwanmun Square in Central Seoul, with hundreds of thousands of people in attendance. Those blessed by the Pope were among the 10,000 Korean believers killed for their faith by the rulers of the Joseon dynasty in the 18th and 19th centuries. Beatification brings them one step closer to sainthood. Today, we celebrate this victory in Paul Yoon Ji Chung and his 123 companions. Their names now stand alongside those of the holy martyrs Andrew Kim Taegon, Paul Chong Hasang, and companions to whom I just paid homage. The beatification comes 30 years after Pope John Paul II canonized 103 Korean martyrs, all made saints long after losing their lives well over a century ago. During his sermon, Pope Francis delivered a message that the laity had played an important role in Korean Catholicism. The Christian faith was not brought to the shores of Korea through missionaries. Rather, it entered through the hearts and minds of the Korean people themselves. It was prompted by intellectual curiosity, the search for religious truth. Many who attended the Mass were overcome with excitement over bearing witness to the historic event, as well as being in the presence of Pope Francis. I was baptized yesterday. I'm very thankful and happy to be here for the Pope's Mass. I feel blessed by God. I really don't know what to say. I'm overwhelmed with joy. I attended a Papal Mass 25 years ago, and I'm here again today. I thank God. The Mass was also attended by the families of the victims who so tragically lost their lives in April's hell of ferry sinking. There were also laid off workers and people with physical disabilities. With just two days remaining, Pope Francis is scheduled to hold a closing Mass for Asian Youth Day tomorrow and a Reconciliation Mass next Monday on his last day before heading back to the Vatican. Chim Young-gil, Arirang News.